This is gorgeous too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's all you can be hearing through this whole video. So, <laughs> look at the vanity. So you have a center island vanity with a beautiful vessel sink and it's dual, right? You have his and hers and you got a beautiful countertop here. This is a solid, oh no, this is not solid. This is a uh, two pieces put together, but that's fine. Let's take a look at this right here. Okay. Definitely gonna have to do a music voiceover or something so that way we don't get demonetized. Now this bathroom has a place just to relax. Kind of get the zen feel, look at this. Spotlight. Tell me they have a his and hers bathroom. And I believe this is called a bidet, right? Let me know in the comments below. Look at this, old school phone inside the bathroom. So during this time period when they were building this, like that was literally the shit when you take in a shit. You get it? <laughs> now I'm just having fun, so relax, chill out. The home was built in 2007. Have a sense of humor, guys. We're looking at some homes, okay? Nice solid door again. You got, look at, I mean, look at this. You got stonework. And look at the attention to detail on this crown molding right here. They could have just took this crown molding all the way to the end, right? But they cut it on a 45. Look at that. That looks sweet. Tell me they have a his and her bath. This guy's not for sale. Oh, so this must be his. Ooh, all right. Kind of cool. Man, I feel like I'm in like Italy right now with all the stone. Here's the closet. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into their closet because it's just very personable, uh, personal. So, you gotta respect, you know, the owners of the home. But one thing I would negotiate is definitely all the furniture, that's for sure. I love how this overlooks the golf course. I mean, look at this, this is nice. Should we go out there now or go out there after? Let's go out there after. But let's go on this side right here. So we have a nice um, slider here. However, this slider is solid wood. Now take a look at this. And it has a nice screen. And this is a heavy solid piece of wood. Wow, take a look at this. Now guys, I'm gonna say this. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I really do, okay? For all my subscribers out there that have subscribed to this channel, you guys deserve nothing but the best. This is the quality of life that we all should be living right here. There, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm telling you this right now. I mean, look at this. If this does not motivate you, and I just don't know what to tell you. I mean, look how gorgeous this is. Wait till we get to the backyard. That's like some next level. I mean, look at this plaster finish on this thing. And look at the wood work. All right? Look at this. You got like a two and a half foot eave right here. Reason why you have eaves that really go out that far is number one, it does help protect some shade for the home too as well. And that's always a, a benefit. All right, let's come back in here. We're gonna shut this. Again, I'll have a link in the description below uh, regarding this property, all the uh, dimensions, everything that you need. Also, if you wanna set up a private tour, y'all know what to do. Just contact me, we'll do a full private tour. Um, you do have to register as far as the uh, the bidding is concerned. Should we go out this way or, you know what? We're gonna have to go out this way then. Yeah, let's go out this way. Wow, I mean, just take a look at the flooring alone. Let me just show you this. You got the beautiful herringbone. 
Oh my god, this is just way too much. I mean, look how gorgeous this thing is. I gotta get the sun on this side. Get the light on this back side here so y'all can really see what's going on. Look at this centerpiece. Oh. Oh my good. Man, I'm, I'm serious, man. We all need to be living this kind of lifestyle. There's no reason why you don't deserve something like this. I'm serious. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is just ain't even justifying. I wish y'all were here with me right now. All 171,000 people right now walking through this damn property. I'm serious about this. This ain't my style, but I can definitely see myself living here. I don't think I would ever leave. Quarantine? Pfft. I'd be quarantined for the next 10 years over here. You wouldn't even find me in this house. That would be a fun game. Wow, look at that. Beautiful pool. And look at this, they got the waterfall down there, man. Oh my good. I mean, look at that beam right there. What's crazy is these are not even engineered beams. These are like one solid piece beams. Like that is, like those beams right there are so expensive just to get. Take a look at this courtyard area too right here. Look at this. So initially we, we walked through there right there, right? And you can kind of see, it almost looks like a fish tank. Then you have this courtyard here. Then you have something right down here. I'm not too sure what that is, but I know the basketball court is down that way too, but take a look, take a look at this. We got, looks like aluminum, right? Framing around the windows, which is really nice, solid. And let's take a look at the, the, the color here. So we got a brown, right? But the interior is a different color. I think it's a solid wood. Let's take a look. So what they did was take the window trim and they did a casing around the windows. I mean, this is like really nice. As you can see, it is a dual pane window with a uh, tint on it as well. Oh, imagine playing high and seek up in here, right? Oh, yeah. All right, let's walk down this way. Let's see what we got. The uh, carpets are definitely nice and plush. I mean, this is definitely a resort style, that's for sure. Again, don't forget to click on the link in the description below. So that was one bedroom. Instead, there was a total of four bedrooms. So what else we have here? Now look at this transition right here. Look at this design right here. Love that. Transitions is awesome. We got 10 foot ceilings. So here's one bedroom. And that's another thing that you need to be aware of. If you are building a custom home, you can definitely go 12 feet on the first floor. Then also, you need a minimum requirement of 10 feet on the second floor. So just keep that in mind. Again, we have some beams here. Surround sound, ceiling fan. This is a baseball room, it looks like. So it looks like we do have our outlets here. Now the second room is stating that it is 14 by 10. This one don't look like 14 by 10. This one looks a little bit bigger. I'm gonna say this This is the 17 by 23 on this one. So this is a large uh, bedroom. So now we have another six foot slide out to this balcony. I'm gonna take it out to this side right here. We'll see what's going on out here. All right, so this one goes all the way around. Twenty-four minutes into this video, and we ain't even done. Not even close to being done. One thing that I would have probably done was here during the design for this. Throw some LED lights on the soffits all the way around.
Man, look at this uh, grill station here. Crazy. And I love how they incorporated these um, vegetation around the uh, the stone here. I mean, take a look at this. Wow. Bam. Gorgeous. Let's come back in here. Let's take a look at this bathroom here. So you got some nice terracotta stone. Oh, look at this uh, vanity. This is really nice right here. Look how they shaped this down. This is really nice. Look at that. One solid piece right here. Now, I don't know if this is a, a solid stone, but this seems to be man-made. It is pretty porous. I mean, take a look at this. So, this is how creative this is. You, you gotta understand the engineering behind here. So, when you design a home like this, you also have to have an architect that collaborates with a designer because the designer already knows that this is the type of slab that they are putting in and also that they need to direct the architect and also the engineer of the home to pre-plumb all of this.